57th Street, Manhattan, New York. Wondering where that leads? Uh, only the most iconic building of the Big Apple. The Central Park Tower is currently the tallest condo complex in the world. Standing 472 meters tall to the tip, it seems, real soon, this luxury palace might lose its coveted title after all. Remember, when it comes to breaking world records, Dubai is kinda hard to ignore. From the tallest skyscraper in the world to the biggest aquarium ever built, this rich Emirati country has got it all. Including now, the first hyper tower in the world. So, let's check this baby out. If you have ever been to this surreal desert kingdom, you probably know that Business Bay is the wealthiest district in Dubai. Located near Dubai Creek, the bay is a thriving hotbed for development, tempting the famous watchmaker Jacob & Co. to team up with Bingadi, one of Dubai's wealthiest property developers, for a truly unique and lavish building project. Expected to be the largest residential building in the world, goes without saying, these pads are built for some of the richest people in the world. But what is a hyper tower? a term particularly coined to describe this new building prototype. The Burj is expected to become the tallest residential building in the world. Standing proud and tall at 1,500 feet high, its unique design is inspired by the same incredible watch aesthetic that makes their luxury watches so special and unique. I mean, that's the thing. You are not just looking at the tallest apartment building in the world, but also the most luxurious kind of living you can ever imagine got you curious, huh? About the penthouses. Well, according to Jacob Arabo, the man behind the magic, this stellar tower is expected to have three different kinds of luxury penthouses in the pipeline, each one named after one of the company's most successful watch collections. Doused in classic watch-like deco, we have to say, if horology, or the so-called study of watches, had a concrete face, this is it. With billionaire penthouses sitting at the very top and offering the most stunning view of the desert coastline, where you can chill in private infinity pools, or hang out in a snooker lounge, or simply watch your favorite Netflix show in a home cinema. Residents will also have an exciting range of amenities to enjoy on the lower floors. From world-class gyms, multiple restaurants, and its own clubhouse, to luxury spas and daycare centers. Remind me, why again would I ever leave this place? The Bells and Whistles Imagine having everything you'd ever need under the same roof. With residential blocks starting from the 20th floor, the Burj will give you tons of parking space and an ample room for your staff. So how much will this glowing sky marvel even cost? In short, a lot. Brawling over 2,000 square feet, a sapphire suite will set you back 8 million dirhams while the larger 2,700 square foot of emerald space should cost you about a whopping 10 million dirhams. In fact, and as we go up in the floors, the price also massively shoots up, with penthouses expected to sell for 500 million dirhams a pop. But hey, is it really worth the money? Well, by the looks of it, sure. These glistening two and three bedroom apartments sure look like they're made for the creme de la creme of global elites. So rest assured, you will be living in one of the most beautiful man-made structures on the planet. Remember, Jacob & Co. are the biggest players in the luxury watch business, with a business clout of popular celebrities like Leo Messi, safe to say, they know their craft. And with Bingotti being one of the largest leading property companies in the Middle East, it means these living quarters right here will be the height of good looks and opulent luxury. Residents will also enjoy a range of personal services, from luxury chauffeurs to personal chefs, you name it. But hey, does luxury always mean comfort? Remember, tall buildings aren't just a pain to build, they are also staggeringly hard to look after. Living in that great height also means you have to deal with fast-blowing winds and water-swaying issues. Plus, the future hyper tower is more prone to plumbing and maintenance issues like the Central Park Tower in New York City. Not to mention, the bigger a building, the higher its carbon footprint in years to come. Whether these jaw-dropping financial and environmental costs will pay off, I guess we'll find out in a few years. For now, just get this. Despite being the world's most iconic apartment building, 
the Central Park Tower still has a big vacancy as we speak, housing only a few dozen residents ready to pay the crazy high costs. So what could this mean for Dubai's new precious? Will the diamond dream ever come true? Remember, any large-scale construction comes with a high degree of risk. Could Bengali 2 be a flop like other high-rise projects in the past, perhaps suffering the same fate as the $100 billion ghost town of Forest City in Malaysia? Or for that matter, many other forsaken Chinese development blunders around the world? Only time can tell. For all we know, Dubai could soon be adding another feather to its glorious real estate cap. Well, let's just say we shall be keeping a close watch on Dubai's iconic skyline. Whether property giant and luxury watchmaker are really able to pull off and really deliver on this promise, it's hard to say 